The Sony a7 IV has a bit of a rolling shutter problem. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it could definitely be better. But thankfully, I found a solution that's pretty easy to do, and it's absolutely free. All you need for it is Sony's free Catalyst Browse software. Essentially how this works is that Catalyst Browse is gonna take the footage from the a7 IV, and it's gonna read the gyro data, and it's gonna correct for the rolling shutter that way. Most of Sony's new cameras have gyro data built in, including the a7S III, FX3, FX6, and I'll include a full list of cameras down in the description below. The only thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to turn off any kind of IBIS or OSS or active steady shot in camera. If you have any kind of stabilization enabled in camera, this process is not going to work. So make sure you turn it all off. And with all of that out of the way, let's hop onto the computer and I'll show you guys how it's done. All right, so I've got Catalyst Browse loaded up here with the clip that I'm trying to remove the rolling shutter on. And we'll quickly scrub through to get to the point where you can see some of the horrible rolling shutter here. All right, so we have a frame like this where you can very clearly see all the lines are extremely crooked and it's not really very attractive. So to fix that, all you need to do is go down to this stabilize button. So Catalyst Browse is quickly gonna analyze the clip and it's gonna zoom in just a little bit to stabilize everything. And as you can see, I had a native 4K file and now it's just cropped in a little bit for a 3657 by 2057 resolution. Not that bad at all. It only zoomed in about 5%. You can adjust this, you know, to your liking if you wanted to zoom in less or zoom in more. But if you don't zoom in enough, you'll be able to see the corners that Catalyst Browse is fixing. So here we have a before shot and an after shot. Again, I'm not zooming in whatsoever. So this is a full 4K file still. But as you can see, it's gonna kind of crop the edges just a little bit. Essentially, it's just skewing the video ever so slightly to fix all of the rolling shutter. I actually recommend exporting like this if you're just worried about the rolling shutter. Of course, this means that there's no stabilization happening, but if you just wanna fix that little bit of rolling shutter, I recommend exporting it at 100% like that because you can always crop in a little bit in Premiere or Final Cut or whatever you're using to edit. And you might even have like black bars at the top and bottom and that might not even be an issue and you might not even have to crop in. So that's the reason I recommend you export this file at this resolution and then you can do the cropping later on. All right, so let's take this frame as an example here. All of the lines are so crooked and if we just quickly go to the after view, it completely fixes that. I mean, of course, you're gonna start seeing the little gaps at the bottom right, top left, but again, you can just crop in ever so slightly. You're not really gonna lose that much detail, especially with all these new Sony cameras. They're incredibly sharp. So that little bit of crop, in my opinion, is absolutely worth it for such better performance in terms of rolling shutter. Of course, I do understand that this is going to add an extra step to your post workflow. So I honestly don't recommend doing this for like every single clip you capture. But if you're on set or filming something and you know that you're gonna need to fix the rolling shutter, then honestly, I do recommend just turning off your IBIS or OSS for just that one shot. For example, a really fast car driving past frame, something like that. Just prepare yourself to do this later on because it's gonna give you better looking results at the end of the day. Overall, the rolling shutter isn't really gonna affect every single shot that you film, so just those one or two scenarios where you think rolling shutter is gonna be an issue, you have a solution for that. Now. All right guys, that was it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys next time.